Okay, ready? Let's go. What we're going to do today, this is a Tyco Power Torque GP20. It belongs to a really good friend of mine. And he dug it out for me. And we're just going to gonna rebuild it. We're going to tear it down, rebuild it. Pretty easy. You can see on the workbench, I've been very busy. I haven't done enough videos and stuff I've been working on. What you see here is the Kraus Mafi ML4000 from AHM that I've been working on. I've been working on the problem of remotoring it. And I use this motor. I did get it to work. Got it to work great. Totally improved everything about this. Fortunately, this motor is just way too slow. Even at max speed, you're creeping along, you know, quite slow. And I gotta think of a new solution. Something better. I need to use a faster motor than this. We'll see what we can do. We'll, we'll get that figured out later. Right now, let's go ahead. Let's see if we can't. Let's see if we can't break this guy down here. Well, you know, actually, let's put him on the track and see if there's any life. He won't even stay on the track. Yeah, there's life. Okay. As you can see, it's all on. It, um, I believe it got dropped a couple times, and it's been in storage since he was a kid. All right, so break this down. What we need is a, we need a small Phillips. Let's go ahead. Let's take out all the wheels. Here's the interesting thing about power torques. For the six-axle locomotives like the Golden Eagle, the Super 630, they're the same. They just have different trucks on them. Alright, we don't want to get these parts mixed up. Let's start our part pile right there. Okay, so they're the same. As you can, they have a different side frame. So here's the side frame for this GP20. It's just super long. Because as you can see here, there's a position for another axle. All right, let's just take note quick. In the rear, when I flip this over, these wheels would be like this. So the rear is the black wire. Okay. And remember on these, one wheel is insulated, one wheel is your pickup. And it picks up from, from this uh, piece of uh, zinc. And that's how it gets power from one side only. Kind of a weakness here is it's it's one side only pickup. Um, but when properly tuned up, they're pretty reliable. Okay, now the front ones, their insulated wheels have they have a gear on them. That's how you know that they go on the power truck. And he wants, he wants horn hook couplers in here. But he wants horn hook couplers because that's just what all of his stuff is. He's not really a modeler. But I told him that if he would dig this up, I'd rebuild it. And I'd make it operational. And I'll give him some spare track. And he'll be able to display all of his stuff on a spare track, which is what he really wants to do. He likes looking at it because he had so much fun as a kid with this. All right, now I got it out. Look how dirty that is. Yeah, this thing's been played with. Not a problem. We can deal with that. Take them out. Oop. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take them out. Let's see if we can remove his ring there.
There is a way. There is a way to remove these rings. If I break it, I got a whole basket full of them. I don't expect to break, so I expect to remember how to do this. Well, let's get let's get the rest of it out, and then by that time, hopefully, I remember. I want to get this center weight out, and here's the tricky part. Okay, these fuel tanks are just, as you can see, I just pried them a little bit. Those are covers for the center weight. And there's these tabs right here. What I don't want to do is pry on this so hard that I bust a tab or anything. But you can spread this shell a bit. And you can you spread the shell just right. You can remove these. And fortunately, I haven't done one of these for a while, as you know. Fortunately, I have all the possible repair parts. There we go. Got one. Get one, the other one's easier. Uh -huh. Alright. Oh, maybe let it, let it loose on me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Fuel tank out. Nice. We didn't break anything. We got fuel tank out. Okay. Now that we got one side. Let's see here. Put one side out. Mm -hmm. A little stiff, been in there for you know, 45 years, 40 and some years. Just on the stiff side. Yeah, there is possibly in some of my older videos where I did a bunch of these at one time, I remembered what the easy way was to get these out. You just got to get, you got to get it started. See, I've got, what you can see here, watch when I do this. See that? I've got one side nice and loose. This side here is just plain, the tabs are stuck from being in there forever. And, yep, I could take my screwdriver, I need a big screwdriver, and I could just pry it. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to bust or put a crack anywhere. I just need to get them loosened. And if I can loosen them up, I can take this off. I don't want to cut the wire. I can, but I don't really want to. Probably doesn't matter. No, it actually, it doesn't matter since I'm going to replace this wire anyways. I wanted to remove this clip. Okay, if you're going to do this, if you are going to cut the wire, get it oriented and get a picture of it so you remember which way it goes back together. Let's get a picture of it quick. Even though I already know and I've got tons of pictures. Alright, now, maybe it'll be a little easier. Why don't I just go ahead and cut that guy off? Okay, now maybe I can get some more leverage on it. Plus, I got to get out his hanger in the front. There's another trick, and that trick is to run it under hot water. 
Uh huh. There we go. So they are stiff in there. Now I got one really stiff, one stiff one. It just needs here to be let loose. Only one left. Like I say, you pry too hard, you bust something. That's what I don't want to do. I want to get the weight out before I go after the rear truck. Mm. Come on, we just got one to get here. When you glue it in there, what? Going on. <clears throat> okay. Oh, there is something. Is that blue in there? Something in there. Hmm. Oh. oh, thank God. All right. There is a parent. awful lot like a little bit of glue in there. and it felt like glue it was there's glue in there okay now let's see if we can do this right oh there we go when I put this back on you know I'm not gonna put glue in here but there for sure there is a there is a drop of glue there I am actually, when I put this back on, I'm going to put chapstick on those so that they slip in there better. Oh, got it. Finally, yes. Yeah, it feels like. And it looked like, it does look like. One of these here has a little, I don't think it's corrosion, I don't know. It sure did feel like glue. Anyways, it was sticky. All right, here's our pickup truck. In here is still the hanger. And there's probably not any reason. We can probably leave that. So that's how you get it apart, and that took us 15 minutes. We want to take this thing completely apart. So now let's see if I remember exactly the way to get this off here. Now, how the heck did I do this way back then? Did I go? I did. Okay. All I did was I carefully put my screwdriver like this, just pulled back a little bit, slipped up off from the top, no problem. All right, now there it is. Break it down. Okay. Get our Phillips. 
This is the part where if you don't do this a lot, start taking pictures. You'll take off this cover. In here is a spring. We do not want to lose it. See, there it is. There's the, there's the motor brush spring. There is a motor brush in here. Oh, and the whole, the whole doggone cap came out and everything. Let's take the brush out. I'm going to polish this piece. Usually that don't come out. Or it doesn't need to come out. Okay. Take this light bracket off. And the light bracket. Ooh. Gotta be careful. There is the brush spring. And there is the brush. Oh man, that thing was stuck right and it had oil on it too. We'll fix that. There it is. The core. Now, somewhere. Here is a little phosphor bronze bushing. That's got to be clean. Get this light cap off there. Let's take the powder here. Clean this off. Not too much. I don't want to melt plastic. Okay. There's the lights off. On this one, I am going to be putting the light back in and making the light work. See if we can just pull this guy out Oops. a little bit. Ah, there he is. Okay. Yeah, and that guy came out too. Alright, I'm going to hit this one with, with the brush here. So first let's find a pliers. Hold on to it. To take the core out, you have to pry off. Okay, the question is, do I want to, I'd like to take the core out, but I don't have to. I can fix it where it is. Because it's not, it's not broken, it's just, it's just old. To take it out, if I wanted to, we pry off this gear and it's just a friction fit so that's not really a problem um, what that would let me do then is I, I can clean this whole thing <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these gears out Um, a long time ago I had one of these, one of these pins that broke off. So I drilled the hole through, I put a, a nail in there, approximately the same size, and then I cut it off to the right level. Works just fine. These are very robust. So now the question is, if I want to pry this up, because this thing, I, I do think I want to clean the whole thing carefully, pry it up, and there it is, it's off. Now, the core will come out. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my scribing pencil. It's not really a pencil, it's got a, got a really 
hard tip on the end of it. And I'm going to mark this. L and R as I'm looking at it left and right. Just in case it come out. Now here's the cool thing about these. These magnets are replaceable magnets of a higher strength. Those are the same ones from slot cars. And those parts are readily available. And you can change these out if they're worn out, which sometimes they are. If they're worn out, you can get newer and you can get stronger ones if you want to. Alright, so now that we got all the parts out, got this thing totally broken down, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to throw all this in an ultrasonic cleaner and we're going to get it cleaned up. And then we'll start putting it back together. 